forget who he was playing. Eclipses. Oh, I think it's Aiden. Yeah, Eclipse is yeah. Aiden. Yeah, Aiden, there we go. Three, two, Eclipse one, Aiden. Will we go. see an Eclipse win? Alright, so we're getting the Dark Pit. Interesting. Yeah. He must be feeling himself from low tier spot strike. Because his Dark Pit is pretty clean, but it's definitely not his best character. I was expecting Snake here. V definitely has the fundamentals to outplay uh, Aiden's unfortunately honest Dark Pit. Only honest because the character doesn't have any cheese, except for side B, sort of. Um, but Aiden's generally a cheesy player in general, so like we'll see. <laughs> generally and generally, yep. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what he pulls out of his pocket here. Have you ever seen this match before? Uh, no. I think I've I seen, haven't either. <laughs> I think I've seen a little bit of uh, Black Tunes playing uh, Dark Pit, but oh, true, true. But I haven't seen this matchup now. Ooh, and it looked even, but V just got the stock lead and immediately did 50%. So I don't really know. Aiden's got the tools to come back. I really like that uh, aerial side B as well, because he landed with it to dodge the move, because it stalls you. Yeah. Oh, that's not the... <laughs> Definitely went way too deep for nothing. Yeah, ooh, that was a really nice uh, runoff and then retreating there back to stage. Yeah from B. And he's just in total control here. I definitely think we're going to see a character switch after this game. Yeah, there's no way we don't. I think Snake's coming out here. Or maybe the, the Aiden DK? That would be a <laughs> funny one. It exists, for sure. We're uh, starting off Pokemon Stadium, too. So, they probably just chose it. We've definitely been starting this stage like pretty much every set. Yeah. And for a good reason, it's pretty balanced. But just gonna know that Dare is not the best on hit and punish Lucina out of shield there. Oh, that's definitely not gonna be safe. Can't even mix it up there. Ooh. So we're just kinda seeing Fussing. I'm not really sure what Aiden even can go for here other than the raw smash attack or side B. I think F throw kills at this percent, but it's gonna be tough to get a grab on a character with a sword. Maybe side B off stage. Oof, uh, he well, didn't even get the F throw kill at 140. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking real rough for our boy. For Eclipse's boy, this is uh, their venue and everything. Well, not venue, but the TO's venue. You know, anyway. Ooh. Smart high recovery from Aiden there, but he just didn't really have to yeah, do much to sniff out the shield. win. So game one going to V. Played that really well. I won. I'm cheering for him today. He's playing well. And he's gonna pick Snake, yeah. Or not. Oh, Went he's back sticking to the dark pit. To the dark pit. Okay. I'm trying to see. I'll ask after, it's fine. Alright. So, town this time. Uh, I think it's a good idea, because if he does happen to land a dark pit side B, it will kill at like 70, because the blast zones on the sides are small. Yeah. I wonder um, uh, what the spanning was like. Uh, was he thinking, oh, he's going to go snake? Or was he thinking uh, he'd stick with the dark pick? Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe he didn't really. Because Aiden plays enough characters where you don't really know which one he could counter pick you with. Yeah. And so far, he's gotten the lead. So, I mean, I guess he hasn't given up on dark pick quite yet. But I think... The biggest point of this matchup is the fact that Dark Pit's active aerials just lose to Lucina's sword. So anytime they're just boxing in the air, he's going to lose. Yeah, like there. Yeah, exactly. And we saw it earlier, too, where Aiden tried to fair. Really nice catch from uh, V there with the F smash. To me, say it was so strong, he won in two seconds. XD. Ooh, okay. Be ready to ledge. I don't know if he meant to go ledge. He probably wanted to run off and then do an aerial. Speaking about uh, bad dares, Dark Pit's <laughs> a lot worse than Lucina's. Oh, for sure. Um, Dark Pit does have combos in the dare, though, which is really nice because it gives him, like, an extension. Well, so does Lucina, right? I don't think so. I think I saw him earlier uh, combo dare into, like, fair or back air or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm referring to, like, Dark Pit can do, like, down throw dare and then yeah. do something else. 
Ooh, but down throw Rar Bear's actually gonna get a kill there, but down an entire stock, so he does need to make some plays here to make the comeback. <laughs> that face one eclipse literally clown scrape in the chat. Alright. Wow, V just hasn't really messed up once since he dropped that stock. And Nair F Smash not gonna quite kill yet, but Aiden really has to do a lot to make it back here. No, that's Kind of close. Oh, yeah, the yeah. regrab's gonna get him killed. He was trying to cover his recovery with the arrows, but honestly, V just has to shield those, and they can run off and do whatever he wants anyway. Well, is he gonna bring Snake now, or we'll see? We'll see. I don't know. I think he's definitely gonna switch because yeah. if you drop two games as Dark Pit and, and you don't main Dark Pit, and it was pretty convincing. Too. Yeah. Why do you play Dark Pit at that point? Like, you should definitely switch off the character if you have a better character available to you. He might be fearing V uh, versus Snake because V is just really good at that matchup and play Snake himself. So it's a little bit like risky to go Snake against him, but he definitely has other options available too. Like I know he plays Mario. Um, we're gonna see what we get. Hero. Oh, no. Okay, that was a joke. That was a joke. He definitely calm down. <laughs> definitely, he's not gonna go Hero randomly. Yeah. All right. So we are getting Aiden Snake here. This is his official main. Uh, going to uh, the default skin, which I don't think is what he usually does, but I don't remember. So maybe he's trying to feel himself a little bit. Uh, v just immediately leading off with 30%, 39, uncontested. Definitely a bad roll there. Just rolled into the combo. Oh yeah, and Steve was pointing out earlier that Aiden likes to roll in a lot, so maybe V's caught on to that as well. Lucina definitely excels in this matchup in the sense that she can juggle Snake without getting hit by grenades because she has that disjoint. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Grape's the one that's wishy washy with his snake colors. Noted. I lost a Grape in uh, doubles and he uh, ETLX. Is pretty solid. Yeah. So dropping two grenades off the platform there, but B. Knowing this matchup to an extent that most uh, Ultimate players don't because he was actually a Brawl vet. He was like really, really good in Brawl. Uh, one of the best players in the world, honestly. So he certainly played his fair share of Snakes. I think he is aware how to work around the grenades. At the very least. Yeah. C4, oh. forgot about it. Have to pay attention to that though. That's a little bit risky to go for. Okay, that up air was kind of nice. Not getting any sort of big punish from either player here, even though they both kind of had a scramble. Ooh. Nice oh, spot, Dodge. Gonna get that, yeah. The classic spot, Dodge cancel up, so. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. Snakes are really good at sneakily placing C4. I think it's just like a thing that you have to have as a snake main. I, I really like the um, the up-thrown grenade there from Aiden, just to cover the jumping space that yeah. V would usually use to approach. Oh. All right, and another nice part about uh, Snake in this matchup is the fact that he can crouch, make it a lot harder for Lucina to hit him with aerials. And he's been using that kind of just to force uh, V to do low aerials and get trades with grenades. All right, yeah. Ooh, all right. Man, he's going for that down still every yeah. time, no matter who he's against. He wants it. Or down air. Not down still. Calling out the spot dodge, he knew that uh, Aiden was sniffing out the spot dodge up smash, or sorry, up tilt again. That was nice. Nice placement. Mm -hmm. That's going to be an easy punish. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's going to plan to do with this. Is he I wonder, Interesting uh, uh, pressure option with this IB there in the platform. Ooh. Uh -oh. He's in a really good spot. Yeah, he's too far away. I think it was just off screen, so we didn't see the explosion, but I heard the now and nothing yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, he C4'd. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, dash attack. Late dash attack into grenade explosion. Really nice from Aiden there. And there is a C4 on the right side of the stage. I saw that one. Yeah. So, B does have to oh. play out of that space, rolling into it, but not going to activate it because Aiden was trying to pressure. Definitely good change uh, from 
Aiden. Uh oh, okay. No invincibility there. He could have actually been punished, but Aiden was zoning from afar, so not gonna get any hits there. He doesn't have C4. Recovering high, really scary, but nice air dodge. Gonna make back to the stage. C4 blew up, so he can uh, place one again. Yep. For it though. Yeah, because V does not want to go for up throw there. He needs it to be unstales in case he needs it for a kill. Oh, up tilting twice. V has to respect it. You can't challenge snakes up tilt. Oh, parry. Very nice parry there, but didn't have enough time to turn around yeah, up tilt. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Ooh, kind of read that too. Okay. But that is going to be the stock and yeah, definitely really, really solid dropping this from Aiden. I don't know why we didn't see this from game one, but... Maybe he was just confident. I don't, I don't know. know. I didn't. I didn't see uh, smash. Uh, smash. What's it called? Sma squad strike. I didn't squad see strike. squad strike. Yeah, in squad so. strike he did play dark pit and he did really well. Um, I don't know. I guess he just wanted to play dark pit, but yeah. Oh hi, Lily. That was a good idea from V there, doing the up throw so you can get the grenade explosion to a combo, but Aiden just end. knew how to avoid getting combo in that situation. Yeah, and in the end, it only got 6%. Uh, Calling out the grab attempt, yeah. yeah. It's really hard to actually land, like, just raw grabs of snake. Ooh. Oh yeah, my it was goodness. a really bad air dodge. Yeah, V not happy about that one. He knew he knew that he should not have done that the second he actually inputted the button. And this is where Aiden's gonna show like what he can do, because when Snake's up a stock, Snake is the hardest character to kill in the game. So we're going to see a lot of tilts. That was a really nice dash dance around the shield breaker. Might have not been intentional, but nonetheless, it worked out for him. And already going for up tilts. Aiden's kind of crazy. He's just always fishing for cheese yeah. at all times. Ooh. That Nikita, I think that was probably supposed to be uh, some form of B reverse grenade. Maybe a wave bounce. Yeah, I've seen that uh, happen a few times. Mm -hmm. I do like uh, Aiden's item play, though. He's been really good at just kind of like Z-dropping and getting around with his grenades to set up traps. And knowing to shield to get up attack really nice from Aiden there. Oh, no. That's... Oh, no, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. Never mind. But he was re-grabbing ledge, though. So it was... Yeah. But using the hitbox from his upbeat to actually not get uh, punished for that. I don't know if he was aware whether or not that would jab block because the percent was a little bit ambiguous, but just landing it down tilt anyway. Like the up tilt? Yeah, definitely an up tilt kill percent, like a million percent ago. Uh, but he also has oh, to fear V uh, landing with a nair because if he does get the right hit, he can do nair F smash and that will also kill. So both of these players are in danger at the moment, like severely. But today I learned Lucina down smash kind of sucks, apparently, because that didn't even send him anywhere. Surprised uh, he had no kill confirms. All right, very solid play around the Nikita there, but that back air, gonna catch yeah. him jumping. And Aiden's just gonna turn the stage into a bullet hell now. That's kind of how Snake works. Ooh. No profile. I think V might be getting a little bit antsy with these upbeats out of shield. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was a really clean recovery for Aiden, though. Now he's going high to stall some more time. But that is going to be yeah, the stock, that, so... Yeah, that first air dodge was uh, really bad. I don't think uh, he would have even threatened him to be up here. It was catching him with an up tilt. And here comes Aiden's momentum. Last stock, even. Ooh. That's like game four Leo. <laughs> Last stock Aiden. Oh, but really good play from no, I, I, uh, Barely gonna kill. Wow, that was. I thought he had that game. 